Well, the pain and anger that spilled into the streets was top of mind as Colorado's House of Representatives reconvened this morning. Our lawmakers are dealing with one crisis on top of another right now, but are resolving to continue their work for the entire community. Denver 7's Nicole Brady is live at the Capitol today, and Nicole, certainly an emotional morning. It really was, Brian, very emotional. We know that lawmakers are here after a 10-week intermission, largely focused on a budget here and dealing with the crisis that uh, the economic fallout has left Colorado in, but they could not ignore the pain that so many are feeling right now and what's been happening over the weekend. So this morning started with a moment of silence for George Floyd and Representative James Coleman led the chamber in a prayer acknowledging the pain so many have been feeling. No nouns, adjectives, verbs, or adverbs seem adequate to articulate the assault at times on our souls. No words to define the tears that fall, unable to remain contained within our fragile frames. While that was happening inside the Capitol, outside crews were cleaning off the graffiti from four nights of protests on the Capitol building. The Colorado Black and Latino Democratic Legislative Caucuses issued a joint statement today condemning the killing of George Floyd and asked Coloradans to stand up against racism and help build a less fearful Colorado for future generations. Black Caucus Chair Leslie Harrod said she will continue to stand with the protesters and said that they can keep coming until there is a change in policies and a change in the culture. We are frustrated, we are in pain, and I want to say thank you to the business owners who have stepped up, who have been a part of the demonstrations, who have been parting, a part of cleaning up um, the community downtown, who have said, you know, it's a shame that it's come to this, but it's time for me to step up and do my part too. Yeah, and uh, Representative Harrod said that she hopes that addressing racism and police brutality will be priorities for legislators as they reconvene. But we know this will be a limited session, again, largely focused on the budget. So we'll see what happens uh, of if, if there are laws that change as a result of what we've been seeing over the past several days in Colorado and around the nation. We're live today. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. It is day to day right now. Thank you, Nicole.